I'm very concerned with the trends that I see in pornography. They basically are trying to up the ante as much as they can and demean women as much as they can. It is happening every day and you can draw a direct line between the pornography that's available now and horribly abusive acts. Pornography pl did play a huge role in you know, how I was trafficked. On the one hand, we see a world full of injustice. Women and children are being abused and damaged by the dark world of sex trafficking. Violent online pornography is shaping the hearts and minds of our teens. But on the other hand, we can look within ourselves and often see a world that is filled with inconsistency and pain. Voices and lies from our past assault us with messages of shame and worthlessness. Our pursuit of a career or of success has often left our most valuable relationships hurting. And various behaviors like fantasy, pornography, or extramarital relationships may have become convenient escapes that bring temporary relief, but only increase the long-term pain and dysfunction in our lives. In this series, you will hear from four of us on the Pure Desire team who have all experienced breakthrough freedom in our own lives and now work to empower others to live a transformed life. Pornography, it's, it's pornography, it's not hurting anyone. And that's just research shows that's, that's not even close to the truth. In fact, the, the people that are being hurt within it are not only the performers on the other side of that, but the other victim in it is yourself. We're gonna learn about how our brain works and how to develop healthy coping strategies when life gets difficult. We'll talk about how to be present in our relationships and how gratitude can keep us grounded in the beauty of the present moment. We will see how finding our identity and performance or success can undermine real joy and what we can do to live out of a place of authenticity and enjoy real peace. We're going to discover how our childhood experiences may have caused some negative messages to get lodged in our souls and how replacing these messages with truth can lead to hope and joy. And finally, we'll see ways that all of this can contribute to healthy marriages and healthy families. Our hope is that as you watch, you will see clearly how you can step up to the plate to help create a world that is undefiled by sexual darkness, whether in your city, your home, or within your own heart. <laughs>